man, you're giving me a rundown memory lane where uh, I once upon a time actually was was skinny, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know if you're calling me fat now or what, but uh, you're giving me a complex. Not to embarrass me in front of my daughter to give me my few minutes up here yeah. that I could see the look on your face. You didn't even want to do it. What are you going to do with this? Can like we that. start this interview now? Please hang up and try again. Network broadcasting from the Lucas Oil Studios, driven by General Tire. It's Speed Freaks Motorsports Radio redefined with Kenny Sargent. We love to party. Crash Gladys. What are we doing for the bachelorette party? And Stepman. I am serious. Here's the freaks. Freak Nation, there will be no intentional April Fool's jokes for you during this next two hours on the Freak Radio Network and on MAV TV, other than to tell you North Carolina State and Alabama mm. are in the final four, and NASCAR started a race on rain tires, on an oval. <laughs> That's no joke. On an oval. That's no joke, man. It happened, and the race that we thought was going to be bananas Turned into a rotten freaking peel until the last two laps. We'll get to that coming up here in the Freak Nation. Kyle Bush will be joining us the first hour here of the Freaks. John Force will be with us. Kyle Peters, a five-time Arena Cross champion, he'll be here in the Freak Nation. You watch the entire Arena Cross series, 2023 through 2024, uh, Arena Cross series on MAV TV. We'll have your champion coming up this hour. Some bananas, speaking of numbers, coming out of Las Vegas for Formula One. We'll get to that. But let's get back to Richmond and what happened or what didn't happen at Richmond. Mm. Typically, I'm associating Easter, well, of not necessarily watching NASCAR, but they decided, to, what, three or four years ago, Crasher, to put NASCAR back on yes. Easter? Was that what it was? Back on? I think this was the first time ever to have it go. I mean, they knew what they were doing. I know there's still people in the paddock that are complaining. They don't want to race on Easter weekend. It was never a thing. But the TV ratings said otherwise. There's nothing else going on this year. We happen to have March Madness going on at the same time. But in the past, there hasn't been anything else going on. It's a perfect time for NASCAR to capture new eyeballs. So the experiment has worked. Now, what's going to happen after this Richmond race? It wasn't quite what Bristol was producing. In my opinion, they're still going to have massive numbers because March Madness was done. They weren't directly up against a basketball game, and there's nothing else to watch. I Listen, when I turn to the residential millennial of this show, a guy who's uh, several years, okay, he's much younger than me, and I said, brah, what do you think about this race? And what did you say, Richie? I said I was half asleep. Yes. <laughs> it was a bit of a snoozer. Yeah. I mean, I, I had to send a freaking – a delivery man to wake up stat man at the house saying, bro, we got to do this show, man. Wake up. And it, it, again, it was Richmond stat man. Sorry. You had to take a nap during that thing. It's a NASCAR race. That's the only thing better than uh, a NASCAR race to put you to sleep is Tennessee versus Jacksonville and the four o'clock game on, uh, on the, in the NFL season. <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> some rando. Jacksonville. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry, AFC South. Again, when the Richmond race, when they started on rain tires, okay? I haven't seen this in the Cup Series. They started on rain tires. It, on a points-paying race. There you go, on a points-paying race. I thought this was going to be a, an awesome race to watch. It didn't materialize. These are great drivers. They picked up where they left off with the slicks. They knew where they were on the track. They saw the track start to dry out, and we had a pretty much a parade race up to the last two laps with Richmond. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what the hell happened with uh, Martin Truex Jr. Dude, I'm going to use bananas four times tonight. Dude went bananas. Uh when do I got there, Richie? Uh, I counted four. Okay. And you just said it again, so it's five now. Thank you. <laughs> uh, on the restart between Denny Hamlin and uh, Ryan, excuse me, uh, Martin Truex Jr., 
a lot of folks are thinking that Denny Hamlin jumped the gun on Martin Truex. What more do you need to do than to see it? And for the announcers to say, yeah, he jumped the gun. What's the point of having rules if they're not followed? Well, here's the deal. The rules are very flexible when it comes to restarts. Josh Wise had a very interesting tweet last night saying that NASCAR has always been quite flexible with their restart rules. And if they weren't, then they would have to have overturned many results by now. So this is it. Denny might have jumped in many people's perspectives. It did look like he kind of went a little bit gassed up before that line, but they're not going to do anything about it. It's official. NASCAR did tell Clint Boyer 30 minutes post-race on Sunday night that they're done. They're not going to look at this anymore. This is the result. Martin Truex post Truex. It's unfortunate, you know. But fortunately, that's this has happened here a few times uh, over the years. So um, yeah, we we're you know in a great spot and um, had a great auto owners Camry all night long, and the guys did a really good job. Just uh, got beat out of the pits, and then you know got I don't know. He jumped the start, and then just used me up in turn one. So <laughs> the guy he says the guys did a really good job. And then he admits that his guys got beat in the pits. Thanks to Fox Sports and NASCAR for that audio and video. And and Statman, I know you've you've been on the Martin Truex bandwagon for many many years, and you hate to see your boy get beat to the checkered flag. And it, yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> but what's the point of having rules again? Mm-hmm. I think I heard somebody say that a while ago. What's <laughs> the point of having rules if they're not followed? And we're not going to look into this. The race is official. I want to go home. That he's jumped the line. Yeah, the rules are rubber. They've been rubber, and I've said that for how many years has it been now, Kenny? Twenty-three and nine tenths. That the rules are rubber. So what's the point of having them? They only work when uh, they want them to work. And this all started with uh, again. I don't know what you thought about this freak nation. Hit us up on Twitter or whatever they call now X, Facebook, Instagram, and tell us what you think about this race. I just wasn't there for me. Bring me back to Bristol yeah. and the dirt. Christopher Bell going after Tyler Reddick on Easter on dirt in Bristol. That's what I wanted, I don't but think I, I don't. The dirt's coming back. I, I know that crash. A lot of things aren't coming back. I'm just my preference. This race on at Richmond freaking blue Sunday night, and yeah, I just well, need to I sort of disagree. I like the idea just of yet. racing with the rain tires on the track. The guys adjusted, and I was proud of them. And that, mark that down. I was proud of them. <laughs> and uh, the drivers didn't complain. They just went out and raced. And the crew chiefs got in their heads and said, do this. You could do this. And uh, they held the bottle up so they could feed on it some more. And, uh, you know, they weren't fabled. They they manned up and wow. put on some big boy pants and raced the track. Wow. I like that for mangling about five metaphors together. Hey. All <laughs> yeah, to, when you said rain tires and the drivers went out there and did their job, yep, yeah, I was all down for that. But, again, it materialized, as far as I'm concerned, just kind of a – uh, which Frank, which is really strange. Richmond at one time yeah. was a hell of a race. I don't know what the hell's happened with that track of that race, but man, I just needed more than what I saw. Uh, again, I thought I was going to get it sometime during the race, but it took every lap up until the last two when Bubba Wallace hooked uh, Kyle Larson and then Martin Truex Jr. went bananas on Kyle Larson and Denny Hamlin and everybody else. Now, was- no, wait a minute. I don't know that, uh, that uh, Wallace hooked him as uh, uh, Larson. Bubba, a minute after the race, he got loose, and Bubba and Kyle had a little conversation. They were buddy buddy afterwards, and everything was was fine. Yeah, was- no, Larson Larson got loose, checked up, and uh, Wallace couldn't help. And uh, you know, again, Larson, you know, we love the guy, but he's always. Whatever weirdness happens and guys start do 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 do, and suddenly Larson's there with somebody sideways, and Larson's headed for the wall, and it's their fault. It's never Larson's. 
Kyle Larson on Martin Truex. I think he was just mad, you know, like he was he was mad that the 11 used him up on the restart. That's probably where it really started from. And then you know, the 22 got to his inside one two. I got in behind the 22 and he just turned left across my nose and uh, had me up on the apron off a of two. And then I don't know if he thought that I just piled it in there, but then he door slammed me down the middle of the back stretch. So you know, I just figured in three and four, I was going to use him up a little bit. So I think he just is more mad at Denny, but I was the closest one to take his anger out on. So uh, I'm sure, I haven't seen a replay either, but um, I'm, I'm guessing the replay looks the way I kind of saw it one and two, and then he'll, he'll realize that and, and probably be all right. So Kyle Larson talking about what happened with, with Martin Truex, and again, he goes on to apologize, or not to apologize, talking about how Martin Truex is one of the friendliest drivers out there on the track. One again, the most respected. Yeah, Martin Truex loses, loses. Loses Martin Truex, loses a race, and then goes again crazy on the track and starts trying to knock people into the wall, left, right, straight. He's it was going, odd. It was, it, it was odd to see Martin Truex go berserk. Yes. Yeah. And for him to uh, take what, it out of this. What sort of fruit bin did it come out of, Kenny? It came out of a mango <laughs> bin. <laughs> Slippery mangoes, Freak Nation. Coming up next, you got your Crash Gladys Pit News and Notes. I want to resume that conversation about how I want Bristol to come back with dirt on it. I know it's not going to happen, but damn it, I'm going to be beating that drum because what I saw at Richmond was one boring SOB. I need more excitement to keep me away from my family on Easter, frankly. Uh, also coming up this, this hour, we have Kyle Bush will be joining us here in the Freak Nation. Lucas Oil Studios and on Mav TV. Freaks, Motorsports Radio, redefined. One of the main reasons for poor vehicle performance is a dirty fuel system. It can cause decreased fuel economy and actually do harm to your engine over time. By adding Lucas Fuel Treatment to your vehicle, it cleans and lubricates the entire fuel system. Pump, carburetors, fuel injectors, and valves as you drive. It also improves your vehicle's performance. It's a non-solvent product designed to protect both gasoline and diesel engines. Lucas Fuel Treatment. It works. Now that's a good looking tire from General Tire, the official tire of the ARCA Racing Series. You can't get that one on your hot rod, but you can get now through the end of April four qualifying passenger tires and get up to 70 bucks back the Visa prepaid card. We can all use a little bit of cake in our wallet in our purse, in our pockets, right? Four qualifying passenger tires get up to 70 bucks back from General Tire. General Tire, over 20 years with the freaks, and of course, General Tire delivers. The weekend racing is over, or is it? Not on MAP TV. Monday is All American Racing Night on the network which never leaves the track. Sit back and enjoy grassroots red, white, and blue racing from America's most iconic tracks. Whether it's the precise lines of pavement ovals or the door banging action of the dirt, MAP TV's Monday Night lineup will bring you all the action from this country's legendary four wheel battlegrounds. Monday Night is All American Racing only on MAP TV, Motorsports Network. The NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. Let's go! Yeah! For only $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. It all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year. Life can be full of risks. One thing you shouldn't take a risk with ever is your family's health insurance. If you're self-employed or you now need affordable health insurance, you need to make this free call right now and see how the Health Insurance Helpline can help you get it. We specialize in helping the self-employed and people just like you that need affordable health insurance to get it. We have short and long-term health insurance plans and some even cover dental, vision, and prescription drugs. Don't take a risk with your your family's health insurance, it's not worth it. If you're self-employed or now need affordable health insurance, call right now and learn for free how to get it. Listen, affordable health insurance plans for everyone just like you are a free phone call away. So give us a shout right now. 800-659-7540. 800-659-7540. 800-659-7540. That's 800-659-7540. You are listening to Speed Freaks. Motorsports.
Sports Radio redefined. You're back with Speed Freaks. And of course, coming up, Kyle Bush will be here in the Freak Nation. But first, Crash Gladys Pit News and Notes brought to you by good friends at Lucas Oil. Go to lucasoil.com. Check out the line of products to keep your truck, your speedboat, which you're going to be taking out of storage here soon, right? To put on that big fat lake coming up in April or May. Put some Lucas Oil products in there. Keep it all happy. And of course, with your Mustang, your Camaro, or your sedan, bang, go to lucasoil.com to find the products to keep those rides fat and happy. All right, Crasher, let's get into some pit news and notes. It was the Arena Cross season finale in Las Vegas. That was Friday night. Supercross had their triple crown format in St. Louis. And then NASCAR all weekend, all Easter weekend in Richmond. All right, the Arena Cross series came to an end in dramatic fashion. Las Vegas, Friday night, like we just said. The title was up for grabs. Ryan Brees did everything he needed to to collect the season hardware, but unfortunately for him, it wasn't enough. Kyle Peters ran aggressive when he needed to. He also ran conservatively clean when he needed to. Ryan Brees with both race wins. Kyle Peters with the hardware, now a five-time Arena Cross champ, tying himself with Denny Hawthorne and Buddy Antonez. Kyle Peters will join us in one hour on this show. History was made in St. Louis on Saturday night as well. Supercross ran their triple crown format. Riders needed to race solid for three main events to collect full points. Guess who didn't do that? Now, unfortunately, this was a bad situation. Points leader Jet Lawrence was T-boned by Justin Barsha in the third main. He ended up finishing last. That has jacked up the points. Combine that with Cooper Webb finishing second overall on the night, there's now just eight points that separate the two of them at the top of the point standings. Now, as of us recording this, I have yet to hear a status update on Jet Lawrence. Fingers crossed he's going to be okay and be able to continue the rest of the season. Next weekend is off, but then they have five straight weekends to finish up the Supercross season. Now, With all of that happening, and with a twisted ankle, and still in a little bit of recovery mode from his Achilles surgery, Eli Tomac was on full tilt, winning all three motos in St. Louis and becoming the sixth different winner on the season. Perfection. Speaking of perfection, winning all three motos, that's exactly what Levi Kitchen did in the 250s as well. Easter weekend for NASCAR this year turned out to be Richmond Raceway. We talked about it a little bit at the top of the show. Should it stay at Richmond? Everyone's got their opinions on this. All right. Chandler Smith would like it to stay. Just like last year in the spring Richmond race, he took a win in the Xfinity Series. For the cup race, rain teased the field. And for the first time in a NASCAR Cup points-paying race, the field started on rain tires. Fortunately, the track dried relatively quickly. And by the first caution, slicks were put on. And then the race mostly ended up being a follow-the-leader. Vast majority of this race was led, shall we say, by Martin Truex Jr., but nope, came down to those final two laps. Wallace and Larson get into it a little bit. Larson spins. Caution comes out. Hamlin's guys helped him get out of the pits ahead of Martin Truex Jr. Bottom line, it comes down to your pit guys, doesn't it? Mm. On to the OT win. Mm -hmm. Hamlin, with a second win on the season, led 16 laps. That's it, but still with the win. In my opinion, though, Bristol has provided better entertainment For an Easter weekend, you have so many eyeballs that are available and wanting good programming on Easter Sunday night. And I don't think it provided this weekend with Richmond, but Bristol in the past, in my opinion, has provided that dirt or no dirt. I am of the opinion that, yes, the Easter weekend should go back to Bristol and heck, race it on the asphalt, the concrete, I should say. Just bring it back to Bristol, not Richmond. And we're not quite sure. Thank you, Crash. Lucas Oil bringing uh, Crash Gladys pit news and notes. We're not sure why Richmond has fallen off the map. And well, great this racing. car, this car, obviously, there's changes. It just races vastly differently than the old car. But also, there's apparently a sealant that they used to use on Richmond that they haven't used recently. I don't know how much of a difference the sealant would provide, but I. I Attribute it to the car. Stat man, when you heard rain tires on an oval, was it, uh, you thought, man, uh, this is a day before April Fool's. Is this an <laughs> April Fool's joke on Easter? No, I mean, I, I was really interested to see, 
you're right, Crash, this car does race differently. And I think the car is more consistent. It's stiffer. They could set it up when you set it up right. They could set it up better and bumping off the wall or into each other. It's not going to change the um, the setup that much. Wider tires, uh, sequential gearboxes, they're shifting more. There's a lot to this car that allows it to uh, race better. And I was looking forward to how they handled. You know, I don't have a lot of confidence in drivers uh, being able to adjust. So, yeah, I'd, I'd like the race. And it was contrary to the front of the line uh, in the in the in the field. There was a lot of racing going on. I mean, Christopher Bell uh, had a, a uh, penalty that forced him to have a drive through in the pits. And he came out and finished in the top five or six. So there was there was a lot of passing going on. It just wasn't happening between uh, the first two guys, uh, especially nobody was getting around Truex without a little help from the official in the red truck. Where are you? You know, that's a good point, though, because we got to give props where props are due. Josh Berry, come on, started, I believe, 30th. And at one point in the race, wasn't he up to second place? So, yeah, valid point, Statman. There was good passing through the field. Unfortunately, it doesn't always translate to TV. I didn't see it. Also, a lot of bump bump and tag stuff. uh, And everybody was on Daniel Suarez every time they listened to somebody in in the spotters line. Uh, you know, leave him alone. He's dangerous and blah, blah, blah. Uh, if he comes down on me again, I'll take him out again. All that kind of talk is unnecessary. Residential millennial, where are you on this? I would say that every other sport kind of has its marquee date on the calendar that mm-hmm. it has kind of taken over, right? NBA mm-hmm. takes over Christmas Day, more or less, although the NFL is coming for you, NBA. That's coming mm. this year. <laughs> Um, right. So NBA Christmas Day is NBA, right? New Year's Day, generally going to be called football on New Year's Day. NHL has their winter classic on New Year's Day as well. Right. Major League Baseball is generally going to be like your July 4th is is for Major League Baseball. Right. NASCAR kind of needs that as well. And I think they can make Easter their marquee event. But and in the past, as as you kind of mentioned, Crash, like the ratings have been good on on Easter Sunday for the uh the dirt race at Bristol. But so in my opinion, they got to make this their marquee event. And the way they do that is you, you don't hold on a short track for goodness sake. Cause it ha- it's the worst product one can imagine is holding on a short track. So either you, so you'd pick a place that is going to be exciting. It's going to be new. And I would love to see it go back to the dirt, but hold it at an actual dirt track. That is what I, I would love to see. And I have a feeling we're going to see that sooner rather than later. Granted, your attendance there is going to be a little bit lower, but make it a made for TV event. Go back to the mm-hmm. dirt and hold it in an actual short track. Statman Crash, you're going to have to help me with some bigger name. Um, Decoin. Dirt, dirt tracks. Eldora. That they, that they, Eldora is the one I was thinking of. Exactly. Where mm-hmm. they've held truck races before. So do something like that. Make it a marquee event on your schedule. And for the love of God, do not hold it at the places where your racing is the very, very worst. <laughs> Please. So not at Kansas. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> right? Yeah. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I need more, man. If I'm going to spend time away from my family. And again, the, one of the best stories I tell to this day about turning one of our friends onto NASCAR, it happened, uh, oh, shoot, two years ago. It was the inaugural. Was it the oh, inaugural? No, it wasn't because that was rain delayed. No. So it was the second year at Bristol. It was yeah. the second year at Bristol, and he had never seen a NASCAR cup race. But my goodness, he was there for the duration (laughs) of watching that race. Bristol on dirt. uh, And and again, it provided some entertainment for for someone that, frankly, was wearing his Boston Celtics jersey at the time. And and that's probably, I think, the only race that he's watched up at this point. But yeah, you're right, Richie. They've got to find a marquee event. To hang their hat on with this. I don't think they got well, that's it. That's a great problem. idea. There's no marquee events that are going to get your attention in NASCAR all the time. I mean, mm-hmm. sometimes you'll watch a NASCAR race and a race will break out, but most of the time it's, uh, you know, it's just a parade. So they could always hold it at Pocono. Mm. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't think the weather would always cooperate up there. You you do have to be, if, if we're talking Easter, uh, you still got to think 
south a little bit. Well, I, yeah, it used to be that NASCAR promoted family values. They wouldn't race on uh, Mother's Day, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, but, yeah, now they don't care. They just want to race whenever they figure they can get some audience. Freak Nation, they got to find something, right? Because uh, come Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if you're still not talking about that damn cup race, you got to figure your stuff out. And, and I give NASCAR credit. Uh, for trying to figure things out. Yeah. Run, listen, running on rain tires on an oval in a points race. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I get it. Hey, Kyle Bush spent a good time with the Freaks, and he joins us next. We talk a little bit about when he was a teenager to where he is now. It's a great time with Kyle Bush. Coming up, Speed Freaks Pits and Lucas Oil Studios. Speed Freaks, Motorsports Radio, redefined. Now, that's a good-looking tire from General Tire, the official tire of the ARCA Racing Series. You can't get that one on your hot rod, but you can get now through the end of April four qualifying passenger tires and get up to 70 bucks back with the Visa prepaid card. We can all use a little bit of cake in our wallet, in our purse, in our pockets, right? Four qualifying passenger tires get up to 70 bucks back from General Tire. General Tire, over 20 years with the freaks, and of course, General Tire delivers. For more than 30 years, Lucas Oil Products has been solving some of the most difficult mechanical problems in the automotive, marine, and industrial industries. From our original Core 4 products, heavy-duty oil stabilizer, power steering, stop leak, transmission fix, and fuel treatment, we have now developed over 400 custom products to help solve some of the world's toughest mechanical issues. Go to lucasoil.com to see what we have in store for you. Lucas Oil. It works. The NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. Let's go! Yeah! For only $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. It all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year. The weekend racing is over, or is it? Not on MAV TV. Monday is All American Racing Night on the network which never leaves the track. Sit back and enjoy grassroots red, white, and blue racing from America's most iconic tracks. Whether it's the precise lines of pavement ovals or the door banging action of the dirt, MAV TV's Monday Night lineup will bring you all the action from this country's legendary four wheel battlegrounds. Monday Night is All American Racing, only on MAV TV, Motorsports Network. Cashback is not available on gas in New Jersey and Wisconsin. Susan, I'm sorry I'm late. Traffic is terrible. It sure is. But on top of that, gas prices have been skyrocketing. I can't believe how expensive gas has gotten recently. Prices at the pump are up, but I never pay full price for gas anymore. I just use the free Upside app that pays you cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. Wait a minute. Are you saying you actually get paid cash when you buy gas with the Upside app? Yes, I get real cash back every time I buy gas. And does that actually add up to anything? I've made around $200. Wow, that's serious extra cash. I'm downloading the free Upside app now. Download the free Upside app to earn real cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code BUY for an extra 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first fill-up. You can cash out anytime right to your bank account, to PayPal, or any gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code BUY for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code BUY for 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first First Philip. If Ernest Hemingway was alive today, would he say this to you? Shakespeare, Mark Twain, Edgar Allan Poe, all great writers. And after reading your book, I simply must add you to the list. Wait, you don't have a book yet. So make a free call to Page Publishing. Turn your book idea into publishing gold. 800-215-6818. 800-215-6818. That's 800-215-6818. David was in big trouble with the IRS. At first, I didn't owe that much, but after this year, it was out of control. Then David called Get a Tax Lawyer. Right away, they were like, oh yeah, looks like you're qualified to save s Get a Tax Lawyer went to work. <laughs> Should have called way sooner. Get a Tax Lawyer has helped thousands like David fight the IRS and get a fresh start. Call 800-745-3070. That's 800-745-37. You're listening to Speed Freaks. Motorsports Radio Redefined. Freak 
Nation. Back in Lucas Oil Studios, Kyle Bush joins the Freaks as we get set for a big weekend coming up in uh, Sunday Easter. Holy smokes. In Martinsville. And Kyle, coming up next hour, we're talking about some numbers that come out of Las Vegas for the Formula One race, taxes and revenue and so forth, which reminded me, first time we spoke with you, I don't know how old you were, 16, 17 years old, about 20 years ago in Las Vegas, your hometown. I think you had a waistline of about 20 inches, and you weighed maybe 120 pounds when we stuck a mic in front of your face. Uh, what's just more surprised, that you're still around racing with children or that speed freaks are still doing their thing almost 24 years? Probably me still being around, for sure. Uh, yeah, no, it's definitely been uh, a whirlwind career, and, man, you're giving me a rundown memory lane where uh, I once upon a time actually was was skinny, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know if you're calling me fat now or what, but uh, you're giving me a complex. So overall, you know, it's been a great career, had a great time, and, um, you know, lucky to still be here, obviously. I think it's the only time I've ever seen you in khaki pants. I, I, I'll, I'll show the interview during, during this piece. Those were the Roush days. Yeah, I remember. They always wore khakis and white button-downs, yeah. It was a white button-down. Yeah, it sure it was. was. <laughs> I think we were in front of the former Hilton Hotel and that the big Nextel the monorail, race, the monorail we? thing was just built or something like that. You were doing a very good job of showing us around your city. Let's put it that there way. There you go. Perfect. Glad I could help. <laughs> right. All right, Kyle. So Martinsville's coming up and some numbers that we've seen with your paint scheme last year with Lucas Oil. And if I get this right. Uh, your die cast, which I have here, oh, look at that mm. behind me, uh, mm -hmm. evidently was top three in sales last year, but was the number one selling die cast for winning cars, race worn, Ra yes. race worn cars, right, dude? That's bananas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The race, the victory lane version cars, or whatever they want to call them. Yeah, that that was that was really cool, really special. I mean, everybody was. Uh, I mean. A car was not only a big hit everybody loved the look of it you know and having the solid blue scheme and, and lucas oil all over there but um i think too you know a lot of that had to do with my first win at rcr and um going to victory lane the final race at fontana speedway which um you know still kind of hurts to say but you know it it uh, it came at the perfect time and and got us to victory lane early in the season to allow us a lot of different strategy plays throughout the rest of the season you know, we'll get back to more Lucas Oil talk. Obviously, we've got that similarity, that connection in our motorsports family. But we brought up Las Vegas a little bit. Now we're talking about Fontana. NASCAR, obviously, it is still top of the page to want to get into the SoCal market. Where do you think they should go? Now that Long Beach is seemingly going to stay with IndyCar, where would be a good venue for NASCAR in Southern California? Um, I mean, honestly, Irwindale is a fantastic racetrack. It's really aged well. The last few years that we saw some of the, um, you know, that, that winter race with the super late models that was there um, was, was a really good show. Uh, I feel like that's a pretty fun facility. You know, you could add some grandstands around there. I have no idea what the roads look like around there. It's been so long since I've been there. But, um, you know, to me, I feel like that could be a, a good start to just kind of having – you know, a beginning of the year clash at the Coliseum type race where you're not trying to bring in 50,000 people to one of our big races or one of our end of the year races. You know, you're just trying to bring in 10, 20, 25, 30, maybe to uh, to a beginning of the year kind of showdown. Ooh, I like where you're going with this kind of in the vein of we don't necessarily need to be downtown L.A. at the Coliseum. Bring it to the track that's already there, Irwindale, and let's make an event out of that. Is that kind of where you're going? Yeah, no, exactly, exactly, you know, but I've, I've, I've heard all the rumblings of it year after year after year of it's going away, they're going to demolish it, it's going to get dug up, it's turning into this, it's turning into that, so you never know where, when it's going to be or how long it's going to be around, but uh, if it's still there, man, let's use it. All right, can we talk about this short track pass package with the car that you guys have now? It's, I was frustrated at Phoenix, it seemed like Toyota had an edge over what you guys have with Chevy. Is it a manufacturer thing or is it a team by team thing? What are we looking at for the rest of the year so far? Um, you know, I think it's a little bit of both. I think the uh, I think the Toyota guys have definitely figured out something and they're definitely a, a step ahead, whether it's their body or whether it's just their setup or whatnot. But, you know, the, the information share that they have going on with uh, 2311 and JGR, obviously, they've got some really good stuff. And, 
you know, the, the information sharing, whatnot that we have with Hendrick and stuff, you know, we were definitely a step behind uh, all that all the Chevys were uh, at Phoenix. So, you know, we, we saw last year both races at Phoenix be won by a Chevy. And this year, it's like if you were up front and you had track position, you could hold it. But it was never like the Chevys were ever going forward and taking the lead, you know. So um, definitely seeing a, a discrepancy or disparity there uh, at that speedway. Kyle Bush, we were uh, having a conversation in the show about horsepower in uh, cup cars. And they were talking about numbers as big as a thousand horsepower, especially at road courses. How do you feel about that? I think uh, drivers like yourself that have experience uh, can't handle anything. But if there's less horsepower, drivers can drive around the guys that don't know what they're doing. To me, that would make more sense. There'd be more competition. Well, um, I think what we're all looking for is the opportunity of more off-throttle time. So whatever allows you to have more off-throttle time is more beneficial to racing. It's going to make the better drivers, the better cars, the guys that know how to set it up better come to the forefront. So if you're at Phoenix, for instance, and you have a thousand horsepower, instead of braking at the one marker where everybody's braking, you're going to, you're going to start getting guys braking at the two marker or even the three marker or somewhere in between. And that's a hundred feet difference. So, you know, 10 feet of being able to get out of the gas uh, different than a guy is, is a lot and could lend itself to some passing to some side by side to the good guys having an issue on pit road, but being able to drive back up through the field rather than like Denny, for instance, at Phoenix got stuck in traffic. He couldn't go anywhere. I think he finished 13th or 14th because he, he couldn't pass, you know, once he got back in traffic, there was just nothing that he could do. And he was a guy who ran in the top three, the whole race. I think another aspect of it too, is not just the breaking of it. Uh, but it's also the acceleration when you get into the corners and you're in the middle of the corner, instead of just being able to go boom down and done with the throttle, you know, you're going to have to be feathering it and you're going to have to be playing with it some in order to get the gas down uh, and accelerating out of the turn. But you're not just going to be able to, to do it all at the same point as everybody else. Hmm. Yeah, that I guess that would have to do with car setup and have more than just ha hold on like a drag racer. And Yeah. And, uh, well, I mean, like right now, a lot of guys, they set up their cars as free as they can set them up. They just want to be able to roll the middle of the corner and they can still put the gas down. If you do that with a thousand horsepower, you're not driving off the corner. You're burning your rear tires off the corner. So, uh, you know, it lends itself to a bigger window that guys are going to be playing in as well with their setups on how tight do they want to be? How loose do they want to be? Do they want to be fast on the short run? Do they want to be good on the long run? And Kyle, you've been in NASCAR a long time, had a huge amount of success, won uh, two championships, I think. Uh, what do you think about the idea of NASCAR racing at Long Beach? That was a headline for a couple of days this week. Would you like to, to be there? Is the track too narrow? Would it require a lot of change to fit cup cars at Long Beach? Uh, the only corner that concerns me is the last corner. You know how you all come into that horseshoe and, um, you know, having some calamity there with the cup cars, guys getting turned around and becoming a parking lot. But um, I think we proved that the, the city streets actually isn't a bad thing. We ran the city of Chicago last year and, there were some tight areas to that place as well, but um, all seemed to go well. So I would say, uh, let's do it. Let's give it a go. And, um, you know, if we're already doing it in Chicago, why not L.A.? Kyle, speaking of Richard Childress, we'll end it with this. Roush, gosh, let me get this straight. Roush, Hendrick, uh, Gibbs, and RCR, of those four, I'm curious. I don't, it's tough to pinpoint who, who meant the most to your career, not necessarily wins, but really the projection of Kyle Busch of those four owners? Um, that's a great question. They, they all had great influence. Um, obviously without the Roush stuff, I, I never would have got seen and run as good as I did with, uh, with them. And, and then to be able to get into the Hendrick stuff or the Gibbs stuff. And, you know, my, my Hendrick relationship was short, um, had some wins there though, but, um, not as much as what Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson was winning at the time. So had some, um, you know, had some good runs over there. And then, um, my last year there, I think I finished third or fifth or something in points. So that was, that was pretty good. Um, and then, you know, obviously JGR, I would say has meant the most to my career, just with the success that I've had there and the wins that we had there. And, you know, being a part of the Toyota team for, for as much as I was, that was probably the biggest the biggest reason. 
And then, um, you know, hey, I, I probably wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for RC picking me up and, and bringing me into his team to allow me to keep my career going and and uh, getting that 19th win last year, uh, 19th year in a row of winning a race last year was uh, was really awesome. Want to do nothing more than to be able to go to victory lane again this year and make it number 20. So, um, you know, we can carry on that legacy of, uh, of myself in the Cup Series. Bang! All right, man. Hey, good luck in Martinsville. We'll see you out there, partner. You got it. Sounds good. Appreciate y'all. Speed Freaks, Motorsports Radio, redefined. Keeping your pride and joy perfect is as easy as one, two, three. Start with Slick Mist Speed Wax. Simply mist on and wipe off for professional detail or shine. For your tires and trim, there's Lucas Slick Mist Tire and Trim Shine. Spray on and wipe off for better than new look. Then finish her with Lucas Slick Mist Interior Detailer. Just spray and wipe. Easy. Use Lucas Slick Mist Car Care Products and she'll never look better. Fast, easy, and professional. Really, it's sort of like having an extra set of hands. Or three. Now that's a good looking tire from General Tire, the official tire of the ARCA Racing Series. You can't get that one on your hot rod, but you can get now through the end of April, four qualifying passenger tires and get up to 70 bucks back the Visa prepaid card. We can all use a little bit of cake in our wallet, in our purse, in our pockets, right? Four qualifying passenger tires get up to 70 bucks back from General Tire. General Tire over 20 years with the freaks and of course, General Tire delivers. The NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. Let's go! Yeah! For only $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. It all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year. The weekend racing is over, or is it? Not on MAV-TV. Monday is All-American Racing Night on the network which never leaves the track. Sit back and enjoy grassroots red, white, and blue racing from America's most iconic tracks. Whether it's the precise lines of pavement ovals or the door banging action of the dirt, MAV-TV's Monday Night lineup will bring you all the action from this country's legendary four-wheel battlegrounds. Monday Night is All-American Racing, only on MAV-TV, Motorsports Network. As your power steering pump ages, seal leaks may occur, causing the power steering system to lose fluid. Your power steering system may also develop an annoying squeal, and the steering may become more difficult to handle. By using Lucas Power Steering Stop Leak, you will stop the seal leaks, reduce slack in rack and pinion, eliminate the squeals and hard spots in your power steering system. It is guaranteed to stop seal leaks for your money back. Lucas Power Steering Stop Leak. It works. Freak Nation, head to your local General Tire dealership now to check out the latest additions to their product lineup. The Grabber family of tires are engineered for durability and feature innovative performance features that offer all-terrain capability, blending exceptional off-road durability and impressive on-road performance, all while sporting aggressive styling. For outstanding off-road performance coupled with strong street manners, look no further than General Tire. General Tire delivers for whatever you do, and the official tire of Speed Freaks since 2001. David was in big trouble with the IRS. At first, I didn't owe that much, but after this year, it was out of control. Then David called Get a Tax Lawyer. Right away, they were like, oh yeah, looks like you're qualified to save Get a Tax Lawyer went to work. <laughs> Should have called way sooner. Get a Tax Lawyer has helped thousands like David fight the IRS and get a fresh start. Call 800-745-3070. That's 800-745-3070. Are you tired of high cable TV rates? Sign up for Dish today and get a $500 bonus offer while supplies last. Plus, lock in your price for two years guaranteed. Call All-American Dish, your Dish authorized retailer now. 800-296-1251. 800-296-1251. That's 800-296-1251. Offers require credit qualification, 24-month commitment, early termination fee, and e-auto pay. Restrictions apply. Call for details. You're listening to Speed Freaks. Motorsports Radio Redefined. (laughs) 
Rumors of NASCAR taking over IndyCar's spot in the Long Beach Grand Prix weekend were greatly exaggerated, apparently. Word came late in the week that former Champ Car Series owner Gerald Forsythe would take over the race and keep it committed to IndyCar. At one time, Forsythe and Kevin Calvin were 50-50 partners in the Grand Prix, but when Calvin died two years ago, his part was put up for sale by his estate. This week, Forsythe took over Calvin's piece. It'd be heartbreaking for me to see NASCAR taking over in Long Beach. For that matter, NASCAR's failures at bringing the region to Fontana indicates they don't understand the market there. I'll say this, the people at NASCAR know who they are and know their business. Fontana, though, is an example of audience frustration for NASCAR at times. The novelty of the LA Coliseum with urban entertainment is one thing, but IndyCar at Long Beach it's almost as important as flowers in spring to Southern Californians. Those headlines this week so disappointed me. The money and time IndyCar spent trying to sell itself to America's one percenters would have been better spent solidifying its most important weekend of the calendar. I sure hope IndyCar doesn't believe it can sell itself as Formula One light if that series implodes because it believes one percenters are the answer to all its problems, then maybe we've misunderstood the Penske brand all along. Peace. Your stat man scat brought to you by good friends at General Tire. Freak Nation, now through the end of April, go to GeneralTire.com and check out a line of tires where you can get up to a $70 Visa prepaid card back in your pocket when you buy four qualifying passenger tires from General Tire. Again, now through the end of April, Four qualifying passenger tires from General Tire. You can get up to 70 bucks back. The Visa prepaid card from our friends at General Tire. All right, playing off Statman's scat, we saw this development last week where the Long Beach Grand Prix, there's a portion of the Grand Prix was up for grabs, evidently. Oh, yeah. And of course, because it was in Kevin Kalkovin's estate. So, yes, right. Kevin Kalkovin is no longer with us. So, that has been pursued by others, let's just say. And evidently, that's been going on for quite a while. I had no idea that this has been happening. And as evidenced by Statman Scat, we saw late Thursday of last week where uh, Gerald Forsyth said, screw this, man. I don't want Formula One or, Indy or, or NASCAR coming in here and clogging up our streets. I'm going to buy the rest of the 50% and own 100% of the Long Beach Grand Prix and Statman, I love your reference because we have a certain affinity. The three out of four of us do of uh, for the Long Beach Grand Prix. You spent more time in Los Angeles than I did. Then it's me and then Crash. But regardless, we've spent enough time at the Long Beach Grand Prix to know that it's a it's a, what a right to, what is, what is it called a spring of pa passage right of passage right yes. of passage, which is the Long Beach Grand Prix. And seeing any other car than IndyCar on those streets would have been sacrilege. Yeah, well, they had, they do have IMSA on Saturdays, but NASCAR is an entirely different beast, animal, whatever you want to say. Uh, the the we've been to parties on boats where you weren't even looking at the race. You hear the cars go by. It's just a part of spring. It's what people expect. The people that will never go to another race, that will never watch another race, will go to that race because it's in Long Beach and it's springtime. And it doesn't have the reputation crash of the infield at Sebring or the infield at Talladega, but they still have one thing in common. Well, Long Beach Grand Prix even more so. It's more about the party oh, yes. than the race. Oh, yes. it's But it's a different kind of party. Statman just, just referenced boats. Yes, you've got boats in the Long Beach Harbor. You've got a lot of high penthouse parties that are going on looking down on the track. So, yes, it's it's definitely a party that has a race going on in the background. But there are still a lot of people that are paying attention to the race. It's it's a great one. It's you got to qualify well because the chances of you coming through the field are slim to none, though it does happen. Mm -hmm. But there's lots of nuances to the track that people have really come to appreciate over the years. There's the convention center as well that has gosh, motocross bikes, BMX bikes. You've got, you've got a little bit of everything for all ages, kids up to adults. And it's just a massive beach party that is, 
like I said, fun for everyone. And it's the only time somebody in Maine can see King Taco <laughs> <laughs> on K-Rails going around a freaking racetrack. I'm curious. Happy anniversary, King Taco. There you go. Curious. And really, 50 years is I coming know. up for the Long Beach Grand Prix? Yeah. Curious for the residential millennial. Mm -hmm. Stat, crash, yours truly. Sometimes we live in the proverbial older person's bubble. Mm -hmm. Does the Long Beach Grand Prix mean crap? No. To, see, I knew that was going to happen. Oh. Yeah. No, nope. no, and it, it's I will I will say the same thing about mm. Monaco. I don't care about Monaco, just because it's been there forever doesn't mean the racing is good or I care about it whatsoever. And that's just, I kind of feel the same way about Long Beach, which is like, oh, watch it. I understand the pomp and the circumstance. I don't really care much about the history or anything. People enjoy it. Cool. I just want a cool race. That's all I want. So anyway, I'm kind of, I am kind of bummed not to see NASCAR there because you guys have talked for a long time about having more cross promotion with the series. Mm -hmm. Like I think that would be incredible to have a NASCAR Indy car double header there. And I know Stanman, you mentioned your scat about it'd be tough for NASCAR to get, a, uh, you know, stock NASCAR stock cars to get around there, but why the hell not try it? Dang it. It's a lot more interesting than, than some of the things NASCAR has done in the past in terms of where they held races. I'll tell you why they don't try it. There is not enough room. You would take away all the parking that is available <laughs> for any of the spectators. There is just zero room for the paddock as it is. Well, but Statman brought up IMSA. You're right. IMSA, those cars are not are, are carts. Those are big ass cars. Why couldn't you put some? Maybe you limit the field. <laughs> and the celebrity race. There's yeah. a stock type of car. Yeah, but the, I I would just love to see those big cars, cumbersome as they are. Make that 180 degree turn at the shore, and everything gets clogged up and stopped, and people are trying to back up, and they have to throw a red flag to get everybody out of there. The first time they go into that turn, I want to be the fly on the wall <laughs> to watch them all just crash and burn. Yeah, Ross Castain hugged this yeah. corner going around there, baby. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right? Twitter blew up on Tuesday, most, not mostly, but a Quite a large amount of people saying, no, the stock cars would totally run over that fountain. No, <laughs> preserve the dolphin fountain. Don't let anything happen to that. Valid exactly. Point. That's the other thing. They, Shoreline Drive is probably the only place that's wide enough to get two cars <laughs> side by side racing safely to pass each other. The rest of the mile and a half around there, would it's just a single file. It would be... It'd be a dull race, and uh, the only fun about it would be to watch them bang into each other to get around the hairpin. Yeah, so what makes it interesting for IndyCars, at least in this era, is the fact that they have pushed to pass. They can use that at strategic moments yeah. in order to help it from not being so much of a single-file race. And what have we learned here? We've learned that clearly we need to get Richie to Long Beach. Hey, I'm all for it. Let's make it happen. I think one appearance there, you'd be like, oh, yeah, Change my one mind. of the best races ever. Mm -hmm. yeah, I just, uh, Richie's uh, all the time says that the only thing I want to see, I want to see what would be a good race to you. Is there a good race anywhere in the hundred or so races that we pay yeah. attention to during the year? Of is course there, there is. Yes. Yes. There's, we've seen like three good NASCAR races this year already. Thanks. I love IndyCar. I say it all the time. I said it last year. My race of the year for 2023 was the Indianapolis 500 for a reason. That was one of the greatest races I've seen in a decade plus. So, of course, you just, just entertain me, Stan, man. That's all I'm asking It's for. incredible. <laughs> Whenever I go over to Richie's house, I see this line of ticket stubs to IndyCar races what? that Richie's been to. Richie? That's on us, Kenny. How many IndyCar races have you been to in person? Oh, well, I've been to, I've been to, let's see. One. That's the list. And they, ha and they haven't been back. They haven't been back to Phoenix since. Oh, so you're the reason? Yeah. <laughs> you're the jinx. The, the Richie jinx. Why the Phoenix the Richie has not jinx had is back. <laughs> Freak Nation, a big second hour coming up. John Force, who will be running for two wins in Phoenix. NHRA Funny Cars series. Uh, he joins us next hour. Uh, also, Dale Jr. speaks, and a whole lot of people listen, including the freaks. That's the second hour coming up. Freak Radio Network and on MAV-TV. What are you going to do?
to do with that. Nobody. Can. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. It's you're for gonna, it's for my daughter. You're, you're how gonna, not to interview you're somebody? Doing it not to embarrass me in front of my daughter yeah. to give me my few minutes up here yeah. that I could see the look on your face. You didn't even want to do it, but that's okay. Not that's okay. Not true. Not true. But you know I love you. Speed Freaks Motorsports Radio redefined. You take car maintenance seriously, and you want to pass on that legacy of care. Use Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer to shield your engine from excessive heat, debris, and friction. Trust Lucas Oil. It works. Now that's a good looking tire from General Tire, the official tire of the ARCA Racing Series. You can't get that one on your hot rod, but you can get now through the end of April four qualifying passenger tires and get up to 70 bucks back the Visa prepaid card. We can all use a little bit of cake in our wallet in our purse, in our pockets, right? Four qualifying passenger tires get up to 70 bucks back from General Tire. General Tire, over 20 years with the freaks, and of course, General Tire delivers. The NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. Let's go! For only $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun, featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. It all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year. The weekend racing is over, or is it? Not on MAP TV. Monday is All American Racing Night on the network which never leaves the track. Sit back and enjoy grassroots red, white, and blue racing from America's most iconic tracks. Whether it's the precise lines of pavement ovals or the door banging action of the dirt, MAP TV's Monday Night lineup will bring you all the action from this country's legendary four wheel battlegrounds. Monday Night is All American Racing only on MAP TV, Motorsports Network. Life can be full of risks. One thing you shouldn't take a risk with ever is your family's health insurance. If you're self-employed or you now need affordable health insurance, you need to make this free call right now and see how the Health Insurance Helpline can help you get it. We specialize in helping the self-employed and people just like you that need affordable health insurance to get it. We have short and long-term health insurance plans and some even cover dental, vision, and prescription drugs. Don't take a risk with your your family's health insurance, it's not worth it. If you're self-employed or now need affordable health insurance, call right now and learn for free how to get it. Listen, affordable health insurance plans for everyone just like you are a free phone call away. So give us a shout right now. 800-659-7540. 800-659-7540. 800-659-7540. That's 800-659-7540. At Lucas Oil, we take pride in creating problem-solving products to make your car care easier. We protect your vehicle and make it run longer so you can focus on the things that matter most. Lucas Oil. It works. Cashback is not available on gas in New Jersey and Wisconsin. Susan, I'm sorry I'm late. Traffic is terrible. It sure is. But on top of that, gas prices have been skyrocketing. I can't believe how expensive gas has gotten recently. Prices at the pump are up, but I never pay full price for gas anymore. I just use the free Upside app that pays you cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. Wait a minute. Are you saying you actually get paid cash when you buy gas with the Upside app? Yes, I get real cash back every time I buy gas. And does that actually add up to anything? I've made around $200. Wow, that's serious extra cash. I'm downloading the free Upside app now. Download the free Upside app to earn real cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code BUY for an extra 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first fill-up. You can cash out anytime right to your bank account, to PayPal, or any gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code BUY for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code BUY for 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first fill up. Please hang up and try again. Live on the free 
Geek Radio Network, broadcasting from the Lucas Oil Studios, driven by General Tire. It's Speed Freaks, Motorsports Radio redefined with Kenny Sargent. We love to party. Crash Gladys. What are we doing for the bachelorette party? And Stepman. I am serious. Here's the Freaks. Second hour of the Freaks on the Freak Radio Network and on MAV TV. How you doing, Freak Nation? Be sure you follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, the website, speedfreaks.tv. Coming up this hour, John Force. He'll be running for two race wins hmm. in Phoenix. Coming up this weekend, we'll explain. Coming up in moments with John Force. Also, some numbers came out of Las Vegas for Formula One that blew me and everybody else away that we're we're sitting there on the sidelines, ready to pounce on Formula One, and what a crap job they did last November for the F1 race. Holy smokes, these numbers are bananas. We'll get to that coming up here in the Freak Nation. But as I teased coming out of the first hour, which, by the way, did you miss Kyle Busch last hour? If you missed it, go to our YouTube page or go to speedfreaks.tv and listen to our full interview with Kyle Busch or watch it on our YouTube page at Official Speed Freaks on YouTube. When Dale Jr. speaks, Dale Jr. and his Dale Jr. download, Dirty Mo Media, Dirty Mo Media when Dale Jr. speaks, a whole hell of a lot of people listen. And we don't need to get into, into a rabbit hole with this, but a long time ago, Statman said, when Dale Jr. hops out of the car, he's going to be more to NASCAR than he ever did in a race car. Well, it just goes on. It, it just goes to show you every now and then Statman is right. He's right as hell when it came to this one. Dale was talking about Coda the weekend before last, the Austin race, and about how there just needed to be something added to that race to put more of the driving back into the driver's hands and involved horsepower. And, Richie, I'm going to let you take it from here to set up what uh, the, the video and audio that we're going to see here from Dale, from the Dale Jr. download, uh, regarding Coda and some other drivers that chimed in. Yeah, so this is this is a conversation I feel like has really come to a head over the last several months or so, which is driver after driver after driver get asked about adding horsepower in these NASCAR Cup cars. Currently, the maximum horsepower in this next gen Cup car is 670 horsepower. And so coming out of Coda, like you mentioned, Kenny, the big conversation was, okay, well, how do we make this racing better? Because the racing was just okay, right? It wasn't really all that competitive. And Dale Jr. on Dale Jr. download, one of the things he brought up was this horsepower conversation, brought it back to the forefront. Mm -hmm. And he went on to explain that, listen, if you give these cars more horsepower, the drivers have to drive the car more so than the car driving the driver, if that makes any sense. <laughs> it's harder to drive. Yes. If the cars had just so much horsepower that they were hard to get around the track and easy to screw up, what we need is screw ups. Yeah. And not just... You know, Rex, we need guys spinning their tires, trying to get on the gas and not being able to, and somebody being able to do it better. We need guys sliding through corners, uh, missing apexes. Horsepower would cause those things to happen. Alternatively, a narrow tire, so less race, less tire on the track. So the car is built symmetrically, so it should go around a road course really well. And then we have this giant tire on it, a really, really big tire, a lot of tire on the racetrack, a lot of surface. It drives really good, right? So we need the drivers to have to, to be careful. And the ones that can't do that, can't take care of it, will be penalized by a drop in lap time and a lack of performance and a fail, you know, grip falling off and all of these things. And he's not saying these things in a vacuum. Richie, there are a number of drivers that support and, and prominent drivers that support Dale's comments. Yeah, including uh, one of the biggest names in the sport, Kyle Larson. He was, again, joined Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, very, very recently. And Kyle Larson put his name in support of stronger horsepower, going as so far as to say that it is as easy as basically flipping a switch and going as high as a thousand horsepower. Hmm. He said, I like how he alluded to maybe somebody news coming. Yes, Honda is interested. So there is that. But if it's as easy as a flip of the switch, 
why haven't they done it yet? What what are the other hurdles that need to go on through NASCAR competition committee? What needs to happen to make this happen? Because it seems like it would be an easy fix. No, it's not an easy fix because uh, let's say a thousand, let's say 900, uh, 800 horsepower. When the, everything is fine, when the car is going straight and the, and the, uh, the uh, down, the, the, the pressures to keep the car on the track are the there. Downforce. downforce. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Kenny. Mm-hmm. But when the car gets sideways and it starts spinning and, and bouncing and going over the fence at some of the racetracks, mm-hmm. that's a danger. And you can't, you can't have that. Uh, I've, I've said it the other way, especially at restrictor plate tracks, is to lower the compression so the driver, there's less horsepower, but the driver has to drive the car. What he's saying is the same thing. It, it, it force the drivers to drive. And uh, if the drivers they can't drive will be left behind. So I'm saying that there's if there's too much horsepower, the dangers of uh, apply both to the cars on the track and the people in the stands. And you can't have that. Uh, I'm surprised that they're even voicing that. Uh, but yeah, this, you've got to do something to make the drivers drive. And uh, I think narrower tires might help uh, because the, especially with this new car, uh, the tires are wider and everything is, so much uh, different. So you have to force the drivers to drive. Well, in Dale's defense, I think he was more referring to road courses than he was ovals. Because you're right, higher horsepower on ovals, especially the high-speed ovals, that is a danger. But I think he was more or less just referring to road courses. It's the, it's the, it, it's the same thing. If the everything is fine when the car is going straight and the downforce is working. The problem happens when the car gets sideways and there's no, that's why you see all these things flipping up in the air and trying to keep the car from going over. The roof if, you get, if you get the car going over, there's no telling where it's going to stop. The momentum is greater. And uh, those are, those are the problems. I certainly could put a thousand horsepower in the cars. You could do that immediately, but you can't have that much power out there, especially with the skill set of some of the drivers that are there. Even with the skinnier tires like he was referring to as well? Might be more danger because you you can't control. You, It's an envelope. It's a package. If you have more horsepower, you got to put it on. The, otherwise, the tires are spinning. The car is going sideways. You can put more downforce, but then you got the same problem. The drivers who are always upset, I can't go anywhere. I can't drive. So you're saying less horsepower, but also skinnier tires. We get it. Listen, here's how you solve it. Oh no. Kenny's Kenny's method. Here's how you solve it. IndyCar, one of the most technologically, technologically advanced motorsports series in America. I would have manual steering. They are oh, not okay. automatic steering. Okay, so manual stock cars. Why don't you put <laughs> manual steering oh, no. back in stock cars? We all, every car that we buy, you don't have to sell me that Ford, Fiat, Chevrolet, Audi. We know my car is going to have power steering. Take power <laughs> steering, automatic steering. Take power steering out of those G-damn behemoths, and let's see. These will put the dudes back in the gym, their upper body work. <laughs> Come they, on. Yes. Hey, Crasher. But then how much are you selling from the showroom floor? I'm not talking. You don't need to sell me power steering. I've, I've already got it. <laughs> Put manual steering back in these damn things. Skinnier tires. Why don't and, we just go Flintstone style? Well, see, whoever, hell. you want to go to the gym? Let's just run our feet on the asphalt. <laughs> I've Let's tried, just do it. Try to tell Statman, listen, you'll never be able to appease every driver out there. <laughs> yeah, you tried to tell him. Okay. Yeah. Seriously, man. God, put a three sp- put a three speed in my 1974 AMC Gremlin. 50s on the back, 60s on the front. 
What? Had house speakers in the back too. <laughs> and a horn, 99 different horns. <laughs> where I could, once I could play the freaking Ohio State fight song right into the Longhorns fight song. <laughs> that is sacrilege. <laughs> <laughs> right into Merry Christmas. <laughs> Look at the millennial. He's just laughing. He has no idea. Rich, you don't even know what three speed is. No, I got nothing for you. You don't even know what 50s and 60s are. Nope. All right, we got a break. <laughs> He's like, don't need to either. Uh, Formula One, bananas, numbers. We'll get to that coming up. And uh, John Force, uh, the greatest personality ever to step into a race car. He could win twice in Phoenix. He joins us next. Speed Freaks Pits and the Lucas Oil Studios. Speed Freaks, Motorsports Radio, redefined. One of the main reasons for poor vehicle performance is a dirty fuel system. It can cause decreased fuel economy and actually do harm to your engine over time. By adding Lucas Fuel Treatment to your vehicle, it cleans and lubricates the entire fuel system, pump, carburetors, fuel injectors, and valves as you drive. It also improves your vehicle's performance. It's a non-solvent product designed to protect both gasoline and diesel engines. Lucas Fuel Treatment. It works. Now that's a good looking tire from General Tire, the official tire of the ARCA Racing Series. You can't get that one on your hot rod, but you can get now through the end of April, four qualifying passenger tires and get up to 70 bucks back the Visa prepaid card. We can all use a little bit of cake in our wallet, in our purse, in our pockets, right? Four qualifying passenger tires get up to 70 bucks back from General Tire. General Tire over 20 years with the freaks and of course, General Tire delivers the weekend racing is over or is it not on math tv monday is all american racing night on the network which never leaves the track sit back and enjoy grassroots red white and blue racing from america's most iconic tracks whether it's the precise lines of pavement ovals or the door banging action of the dirt math tv's monday night lineup will bring you all the action from this country's legendary four-wheel battlegrounds monday night is all american racing only on math tv motorsports network the NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. Let's go! Yeah! For only $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. It all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year. Life can be full of risks. One thing you shouldn't take a risk with ever is your family's health insurance. If you're self-employed or you now need affordable health insurance, you need to make this free call right now and see how the health insurance helpline can help you get it. We specialize in helping the self-employed and people just like you that need affordable health insurance to get it. We have short and long-term health insurance plans and some even cover dental, vision, and prescription drugs. Don't take a risk with your your family's health insurance, it's not worth it. If you're self-employed or now need affordable health insurance, call right now and learn for free how to get it. Listen, affordable health insurance plans for everyone just like you are a free phone call away. So give us a shout right now. 800-659-7540. 800-659-7540. 800-659-7540. That's 800-659-7540. You are listening to Speed Freaks Motorsports Radio Redefined. We're with Brittany Force's father, John Force, who is still in the seat. You're still drag racing, aren't you, John? Yep. Is it tough to become Brittany Force's dad and not 16 timer anymore? Yep. And what you said about funny cars, she's going to replace me. She just don't know it yet. What did she say about funny cars for those that didn't see it? I think we set her on fire a few times. So she grew up in the dragsters and she always liked them. You know, the king of speed. Uh, we call it the retirement uh, era where you go. Some, I didn't say that. Somebody said that. I thought that was not, Don Garland, not funny. Don Perdue. My, all my heroes. My heroes, yeah. I'm just trying to be funny. Well, John, evidently you got your feelings hurt because I referred to her as you as her. I've been insulted by the best. Trust me. Don't get my feelings hurt. When you saw that Firebird was back on the schedule, 
did you say, I knew it was coming back, or holy? I'm glad it's back. I'm really, I'm really happy about it. I love this race. I've won here seven or eight times, and um, it's just, it's a good racetrack, and I love being here. I like, you know, we come out of California. I, I mean, it's, it rained so hard last night you couldn't sleep. And uh, I was dreading coming over here. I had my jacket on, had underwear, shirts, everything to keep me warm. And I step out in the sunshine, and that's Arizona. So it's, it's a great place to live, but it's a great place to race. John, you've made your inroads with those other series. Of course, your daughter is married to an IndyCar driver. And, of course, you've been able to hang out with Richard Petty and Dale Earnhardt way back in the day. Why hasn't the NHRA been able to latch on to like an IndyCar race or a NASCAR race? Because you guys run into some of the same tracks. Wouldn't that be badass to have NHRA and one of those other series team up? And they've they've talked about it, but uh, NHRA they they do it their way, a nonprofit organization, and uh, I, I can't ever speak for them. Uh, wouldn't hurt if we did it at some of these tracks where they have both. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know. Uh, IndyCars, IndyCars, and they have a, a light series, and then NASCAR, and they have the Infinity, and all of that, where drag racing has it all. Every, every design of cars, top fuel, funny car, pro bikes, pro mod, and then right down to what my grandchildren are racing, junior dragsters. Autumn uh, will be in Gainesville uh, driving, uh, she moved up to Super Comp, and, uh, and of course that's up to Robert, uh, what he wants to do, but I think she'll go to A Fuel next. I'm hoping she will, so uh, we'll see where that goes. But right now she's got to put some laps in a super comp car, and she's done the junior dragsters. So, you know, she's 19 years old. I didn't even realize it. Uh, Ashley had called me, and, and her mom, Adra, my daughter, had talked about, uh, about why not look at Autumn in a car. But that's not my call. That's Robert Heights. And, uh, but I'd like to see it. But when that day comes, we'll see. What do you mean that your 19-year-old granddaughter, it would not be your call? You are the team owner. I get it. He's Robert Hyde is the father, but you would have some sort of a say if she's fully ready. Trust me. I, 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 I go to the races with Ashley and Daniel Hood, who's my crew chief, and I give an opinion on the kids driving, and I get beat up. It's just like, Grandpa, you did all that with us. Now we want to do it with our children. So Robert would be the same way. And uh, uh, I, I got a quick little thing uh, about four wide. We're at, we're at Vegas, and, uh, and Ashley had won uh, a trophy, uh, won races. Uh, no, I'm not Ashley, I'm, well, her too, but, and, and, uh, but uh, Autumn, Autumn had won, and, and Jacob had won, a lot of them. He's 10 or 11 now. And then Noah was a year or two younger, and, and uh, he never won a race. And all he says is, I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a trophy in your museum, Grandpa. It's going to go right up there with Ashley's and all of them in, in the, over. And, and that's all he talked about. I want a trophy. So here we are at four wide. I remember standing on a start line. He goes, Grandpa, what are all those other lanes over there? And I said, well, it's, you're going to be racing four wide. Just focus on what you do. I won the inaugural four wide in Charlotte. Don't go out there and try to cut lights and see who's going in. Don't do none of that. Look at your light and step on the gas. So there we are, 1030 at night, and they're staging. He's in the final, and this was unbelievable. And pulled up, put on his lights, stepped on it, won. And I'm walking down the track, and I walk back, and I'm very emotional. He finally got that trophy. And here comes Ashley, and they had towed back up the return road. Here comes Ashley. Dad, you better go there and talk to Noah. He's freaking out. I said, he won the race. He should freak out. No, he's really, I'm not making this up. It really happened, Brittany. I think you were there. <clears throat> and, and he's freaking out. And I went over, and I never heard the kid, Ashley teaches at the Catholic Church, church and her kids all go to the church, and I go there. And we all do. But... And I'm Lutheran. I shouldn't go there. But in the middle of it, I walked over. What's wrong, Noah? And he said, they gave me, and I'm going to bleep this out, they gave me a jacket and no trophy. And I, he was freaking. I said, no, that, and I never heard him cuss before, but he was mad. All I wanted was a trophy, and I won it, and they gave me this jacket. I said, no, that's an honor to have a jacket. It's different. They ended up making him a trophy. So he got his trophy, and I got a jacket. But to see the love, the, that's why I love the sports so much. 
No, but you think, okay, or when are we going to start this interview? No, racing. The thing that endears racing, the sport in general, to its fans is the family atmosphere. And you, are, you exemplify that more than anybody else in any series. So, yes, we love hearing stories about your family. I like it. I, 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 I was lost in the middle of when you ended up marrying my friend here. Like, how did that happen? This isn't for motorsports. This is just real talking, right? But next thing I know, you're married. Next thing you're holding a kid. I said, would you adopt a kid? And you said, no, my wife. What do you mean your wife? And then, then I, I, I've known you guys for years. I did one of my first shows out there in L.A. with you. Mm -hmm. I really got stupid that night, remember? Yeah. Talked about subways when you were sponsored by another sandwich or something. No, 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 no. No, I'm going to no. set the record straight. You were at another place and our sponsor was blimpy at the time and you knew you were at another place yet you still said to us hey i'm here at a blimpy supporting you guys because you guys support us and helping us to our championships you specifically did us a massive solid this was the year 2000 way back then can thank we, you can we you're welcome you're can we start this interview okay. now let, let me let, let's finish it with this what are you going to do with that nobody can. nothing yeah. Nothing. It's you're for gonna, it's for my daughter. You're, you're How not it, to interview somebody? It, not to embarrass me in front of my daughter yeah. to give me my few minutes up here yeah. that I could see the look on your face. You didn't even want to do it, but that's okay. Not that's okay. Not true. Not true. But you know I love you. Come on, I'm joking. 1999 you. turned into 2000. I'm standing. I think it was West Palm Beach, that racetrack. It was you, Shirley Muldowney. Do you remember this? Yeah. Do you remember this? No. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Yeah, you remember, remember it, it, the, the big deal was it went to, was, yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was oh, the, the, yeah, the, the circus guy, they tried to turn over his trailer. Yeah, that whole thing. Okay. Yeah. And I'm hearing you say, Grandpa, 23 years later, that just blows me away that back then, I had no idea what I was going to be doing or you'd be a freaking Grandpa. That was the, that was the, uh, I wrote a check that night. Yes, you did. For Shirley, for winning. Mm -hmm. I said, whoever wins, and you don't even know why I did that, do you? But but the promoter kind of left Dodge. He kind of disappeared. They were trying to turn his trailer over, and and uh, uh, and I got my money up front, and so did Paul Smith. I said I'm not going all the way to Florida, and 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 and. Uh, but I realized in the final, Shirley and Gartlitz were running the final, and uh, uh, there was no money. But yet they were going out for the fans. It shows you how they are. They were going to go out there and race knowing they weren't going to get paid and and I put up ten thousand dollars I went up in the tower because I didn't think him I was in cahoots with that guy we got our money up front but uh, uh, anyway I, I gave part of the money I, I got like 25 grand I gave ten thousand back to him so grandpa yeah th and I'm proud of that I love that I love my grandkids I love my my daughters I heard her say a lot of nice things about me mm -hmm. which I'm gonna go out to the car and I'm gonna say did you really mean that Brittany and we're supposed to be talking racing here, Charlie. What happened? Brother, thank you. We talk about what we love, the kids and the, and the fans. Mm. And you know what? Oh. What's really most important that we, we've heard plugs here for NHRA. I, I don't plug sponsors. I got them all over my shirt. But we ought to say something about Mission Foods. Mm. That's very important because uh, they're out there already. Whatever monies are in the buckets, we're promoting downtown at NBC or CBS this morning doing shows early. And uh, Caps will be out later in the afternoon. And uh, uh, it kind of going back the direction we used to go. Charlie always had us in town. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and, um, but I think that's just because he wanted a drinking buddy. But we'd come in town and we'd party and we'd do radio from early in the morning till late at night and TV. And that's how we promoted the races. So I'm good to see that happening. And, and um, uh, NHR is doing it right. So I'm, I'm happy about that. All right, we'll turn the camera on now. We'll start. Ready? ready. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay, back in the race mode. Speed Freaks, Motorsports Radio, redefined. Now, that's a good-looking tire from General Tire, the official tire of the ARCA Racing Series. You can't get that one on your hot rod, but you can get now through the end of April four qualifying passenger tires and get up to 70 bucks back with Visa prepaid card. We can all use a little bit of cake in our wallet in our purse, in our pockets, right? Four qualifying passenger tires get up to 70 bucks back from General Tire. General Tire, over 20 years with the freaks, and of course, General Tire delivers.
For more than 30 years, Lucas Oil Products has been solving some of the most difficult mechanical problems in the automotive, marine, and industrial industries. From our original core four products, heavy duty oil stabilizer, power steering, stop leak, transmission fix, and fuel treatment, we have now developed over 400 custom products to help solve some of the world's toughest mechanical issues. Go to lucasoil.com to see what we have in store for you. Lucas Oil, it works. The NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. Let's go! Yeah! For only $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. It all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year. The weekend racing is over, or is it? Not on MAV TV. Monday is All American Racing Night on the network which never leaves the track. Sit back and enjoy grassroots red, white, and blue racing from America's most iconic tracks. Whether it's the precise lines of pavement ovals or the door banging action of the dirt, MAV TV's Monday Night lineup will bring you all the action from this country's legendary four wheel battlegrounds. Monday Night is All American Racing, only on MAV TV, Motorsports Network. Cashback is not available on gas in New Jersey and Wisconsin. Susan, I'm sorry I'm late. Traffic is terrible. It sure is. But on top of that, gas prices have been skyrocketing. I can't believe how expensive gas has gotten recently. Prices at the pump are up, but I never pay full price for gas anymore. I just use the free Upside app that pays you cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. Wait a minute. Are you saying you actually get paid cash when you buy gas with the Upside app? Yes, I get real cash back every time I buy gas. And does that actually add up to anything? I've made around $200. Wow, that's serious extra cash. I'm downloading the free Upside app now. Download the free Upside app to earn real cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code BUY for an extra 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first fill-up. You can cash out anytime right to your bank account, to PayPal, or any gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code BUY for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code BUY for 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first First Philip. If Ernest Hemingway was alive today, would he say this to you? Shakespeare, Mark Twain, Edgar Allan Poe, all great writers. And after reading your book, I simply must add you to the list. Wait, you don't have a book yet. So make a free call to Page Publishing. Turn your book idea into publishing gold. 800-215-6818. 800-215-6818. That's 800-215-6818. David was in big trouble with the IRS. At first, I didn't owe that much, but after this year, it was out of control. Then David called Get a Tax Lawyer. Right away, they were like, oh yeah, looks like you're qualified to save. Get a Tax Lawyer went to work. <laughs> Should have called way sooner. Get a Tax Lawyer has helped thousands like David fight the IRS and get a fresh start. Call 800-745-3070. That's 800-745-3070. Listening to Speed Freaks Motorsports Radio Redefined. You're back with the Freaks Lucas Oil Studios on Mav TV, the Freak Radio Network. And good to get this guy back in the Freak Nation. I think I might have ended that last conversation with Kyle Peters back in February. I wouldn't hate it if we got you back in the Freak Nation as now a five time Arena Cross champion. Well, he's back. Kyle P Peters after a big freaking battle in Las Vegas. He's back in. Okay, the Freak Nation. I, I, you don't seem like a big partier, but dude, aren't you gassed right now? Just the mental capacity that you had to explode out there on the track and then uh, post race celebrations. Yeah, absolutely. This was uh, this was a big one. Um, it went down to the last moto, and yeah, just the the amount of stress, anxiety that I, I had throughout the season. It was it was very tough. A lot of weight on my shoulders. So. Crossing the finish line after I locked it up, it was it was such a relief. Um, and then, yeah, just was able to kind of calm down and, and rest a little bit. <laughs> wow. Freak Nation, his name is Kyle Peters joining us here in the Freak Nation. Again, Arena Cross champion for 2023-2024 season. Five-time, only two other dudes had done that. 
Kyle, are you of mind where you can put that aside during your rides Saturday night in Las Vegas, just that whole championship thing? Or are you one of, are you human? Do you carry it with you as you're hitting the whoops? For sure. You know, um, it was, it was a really tough, this second half of the season was really mentally tough for me. Um, just dealing with anxiety, the pressure that I put on myself, not even that anyone, my team, family, anyone that puts on me, um, I want to win more than anything. And it was really just kind of a struggle of a year. Um, some things weren't going great and, uh, yeah, it, it definitely gets to you. And uh, the thoughts creep into your head, um, thinking about the future, of what can happen, what's going to happen. And, and yeah, you know, that's, that's the hardest part is staying focused um, at, on race day. And uh, my trainer, Corey Worf, and I, our biggest thing is focus on one lap at a time. That's all we, I, can tr- I can control. Be where my feet are, um, one corner at a time, hit my marks. And yeah, we, we were able to get it done. Hold on a second, Crasher, and let me jump in here real quick. Mm-hmm. As the father of a 10-year-old, those are words that are coming out of my mouth to her. But there are times... <laughs> one lap at a time. <laughs> yeah, one kick at a time, one goal, one game mm-hmm. at a time. But 96% of the time, I don't believe it because I can't do it. Peters, can yeah. you do it? <laughs> Man, it is really, really something that I've worked really hard with, uh, with my trainer on. And it, it takes so much mental practice. Um, I've been training the mental side for a couple of years now. And um, it's probably been the biggest change um, in my program and, and biggest change in my riding as well. Um, Just when adversity comes, being able to handle that adversity, but also um, put that aside and and get the job done. You seem to race like you had a plan on Friday night. You went out a little bit aggressive, you win your heat that kind of that pressure goes away and then there was a time in gosh i think it was the second main in which you let Brees go by because you knew you had it wrapped up you just had to be clean on track he could go by his points wouldn't matter at that point am i kind of interpreting that correctly did you have that as your plan yeah for sure um the race on friday night in las vegas uh the start was so important um the way the start was uh, the gate position and gate pick was very important. So I knew being able to win my heat race, I'd have a good gate position. I'd be on the inside, um, kind of hopefully out of the chaos, you know, anything can happen with racing. Um, and yeah, so I I was able to win my heat race, uh, come out swinging and and first main, just kind of stick right on his wheel. Um, ended up second, thankfully in, in the first main. So I knew I had a little bit of a gap in main two, um, was able to get through the pack pretty quickly in main two. And then I could, I knew he was close and I knew he was kind of uh, maybe creeping up on me and just, you know, one of those things where I didn't want anything to happen. Didn't want um, to really be taken out or, or anything like that. Cause that, that's what happens when you're going for the win. Um, so yeah, I, I let him by, made sure I just crept around the inside, let him around, go around the outside of me and uh, was able to get, make it happen. <laughs> Being able to see this season, this 2023-2024 Arena Cross season on MAV TV has been awesome. And this has been one of the most dramatic seasons that I can remember in Arena Cross in a very long time. Now, people were starting to say on Twitter that, hey, I went to my first Arena Cross race this season. Oh, my gosh, the competition was amazing. I'm a fan for life. Are you hearing that from some of the fans that you've been seeing throughout this season? Because what you guys provided, whether it was you and Brees or whether it was Bitterman and Clark, just the battles that were going on throughout the field were amazing. I just want to know if you guys as riders were getting that same vibe. Absolutely. Uh, we have track party every every race before, before the race day. Um, so like 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. we'll have track party and then we'll have opening ceremonies and then the race. So all the fans get to come in talking with all the guys, get autographs. Um, and, and yeah, we definitely had some big Ryan Brees fans. Um, we had some big Kyle Peters fans and, and everything in between. So it was super cool to talk to everyone. Um, there was a lot of new faces, people that had never been before, um, mm. that loved it and, and was became a fan for life. So that's kind of the whole a- aspect of it is uh, creating fans, bringing more fans into the sport and, and put on a good show. Kyle Peters, a fifth straight uh, Arena Cross Championship uh, two nights ago in Las Vegas. 
Uh, he shares that uh, title with Hawthorne and Buddy Antonis. Now, you know, the old man's mind is getting a little weak sometimes, but it, as I remember, Buddy Antonis has a little bit to do with your career, doesn't he? Does it, isn't he your trainer or something, crew chief? So, yes, Buddy and I have worked together um, in the past for a couple of years uh, when I was racing for Joe Gibbs Racing. Um, he was team manager of the 250 team that I was on. Um, he was also kind of uh, the on-track trainer. Um, and I definitely was able to pick up a few things off of him. We're both kind of the same size stature. Uh, we're both a little bit shorter. So things that really worked for him on the bike um, in his day really transferred over and worked really well for me as well. So I'm, I'm ecstatic to be in that same club as Buddy. Um, I've got a great relationship with him and and yeah, you know. right, I let you I let you stream all that out there because it was interesting. But the <laughs> last conversation we had, if you tied him in these fifth five straight championships, two of you were going to go head to head at some point. <laughs> now, where is the headline on that story? Yes, I'm ready. You let me know when, Bud Man, and I'll be there. Oh <laughs> my man. Dropping the number right there in the your now where's we got to get Buddy Antonis? Have yeah. you told him you're ready for this face off? I haven't told him yet. I haven't got to talk to Buddy yet. Um, I'm definitely gonna give him a call here this <laughs> week. Um, hopefully he's not too busy to talk to me. But uh, but no, I'm uh, I'd be I would love that. That'd be awesome. One what? thing I love that he said on TV on Map TV Friday night. He said, hey, guys, records are made to be broken, and it's an honor to have my – or not really broken, but tied. It's an honor to have his five-time record tied now with you. That was pretty cool of him to say. Absolutely, yeah. I, I'm a big Buddy Antonis fan. Ha always have been growing up um, watching him race the arena cross and even in Supercross. So to be in that – in the record books with him, tied with him, uh, it's a super big accomplishment for me. All right, quickly before we got to get out of here, but uh, he's taught you a lot, but he may have taught you everything he knows. You got some secrets to get in there and maybe nip him at the wire? Uh, I don't know, but man, I, I know he's still got it in him. Um, <laughs> it, it, he's not done, but uh, he might be a little bit older, but uh, no, I've got a lot of respect for Buddy, and uh, it'd be super cool to, to get on the track with him. Freak Nation, Kyle Peters, again, now five-time Arena Cross champion, joining us here in the Freak Nation, which, of course, you were able to watch the season on MAV TV. Uh, some of the highlights that we've seen towards the tail end of the season as things got heated were some fisticuffs, be, dry, r riders pushing each other. That's just part and parcel. Uh, you might need to beef up a little bit more, Peters, if you want to go into to defend that championship again, given the fact that we've seen a lot of fist-to-face -face and helmets. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have to work on being a little bit more aggressive, um, kind of pushing my way through the pack. And uh, and yeah, you know, the season was it it didn't exactly go the, exactly how I wanted it to. Um, there was a lot, I went through a lot of adversity, some sickness throughout the year. Um, and yeah, just it was just one of those things. But uh, to overcome everything, all of that, um, I couldn't have done it without all the people, all the people. All the support from my team, my family, everyone. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm still speechless about it. I would have to believe that makes it even more sweet, is that, or sweeter, I should say, because you overcome things and you still get it done. Yeah, absolutely. Like, uh, just you, you recovered from a broken back. Let's just leave it at <laughs> right, that. Just right, settled. Right. It's settled. Hey, we're going to let you get uh, probably to bed for the first time you've been in bed for the last 24, 48 hours. All right, buddy? Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> But nice. no, thanks guys for having me on. Love, love you guys. Love being on the show. And uh, yeah, let's do it again soon. You saw it all happen on Mav TV. Kyle Peters, five time Arena Cross champion here in the Freak Nation. Coming up next, the numbers are in from the November Formula One race in Las Vegas, and they're bananas. That's next. Speed Freaks Pits, Lucas Hall Studios, and on Mav TV. Speed Freaks, Motorsports Radio, redefined. Keeping your pride and joy perfect is as easy as one, two, three. Start with Slick Mist Speed Wax. Simply mist on and wipe off for a professional detailer shine. For your tires and trim, there's Lucas Slick Mist Tire and Trim Shine. Spray on and wipe off for better than new look. Then finish her with Lucas Slick Mist Interior Detailer. Just spray and wipe. Easy. Use Lucas Slick Mist Car Care products and she'll never look better. Fast, easy, and professional. Really. 
It's sort of like having an extra set of hands, or three. Now that's a good looking tire from General Tire, the official tire of the ARCA Racing Series. You can't get that one on your hot rod, but you can get now through the end of April, four qualifying passenger tires and get up to 70 bucks back the Visa prepaid card. We can all use a little bit of cake in our wallet in our purse, in our pockets, right? Four qualifying passenger tires get up to 70 bucks back from General Tire. General Tire, over 20 years with the freaks, and of course, General Tire delivers. The NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. Let's go! $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. It all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year. The weekend racing is over, or is it? Not on MAV TV. Monday is All American Racing Night on the network which never leaves the track. Sit back and enjoy grassroots red, white, and blue racing from America's most iconic tracks. Whether it's the precise lines of pavement ovals or the door banging action of the dirt, MAV TV's Monday Night lineup will bring you all the action from this country's legendary four wheel battlegrounds. Monday Night is All American Racing only on MAV TV, Motorsports Network. As your power steering pump ages, seal leaks may occur, causing the power steering system to lose fluid. Your power steering system may also develop an annoying squeal, and the steering may become more difficult to handle. By using Lucas Power Steering Stop Leak, you will stop the seal leaks, reduce slack in rack and pinion, eliminate the squeals and hard spots in your power steering system. It is guaranteed to stop seal leaks for your money back. Lucas Power Steering Stop Leak. It works. Freak Nation, head to your local General Tire dealership now to check out the latest additions to their product lineup. The Grabber family of tires are engineered for durability and feature innovative performance features that offer all-terrain capability, blending exceptional off-road durability and impressive on-road performance, all while sporting aggressive style. For outstanding off-road performance coupled with strong street manners, look no further than General Tire. General Tire delivers for whatever you do, and the official tire of Speed Freaks since 2001. David was in big trouble with the IRS. At first, I didn't owe that much, but after this year, it was out of control. Then David called Get a Tax Lawyer. Right away, they were like, oh yeah, looks like you're qualified to say it's... Get a Tax Lawyer went to work. <laughs> Should have called way sooner. Get a Tax Lawyer has helped thousands like David fight the IRS and get a fresh start. Call 800-745-3070. That's 800-745-3070. Are you tired of high cable TV rates? Sign up for Dish today and get a $500 bonus offer while supplies last. Plus, lock in your price for two years guaranteed. Call All-American Dish, your Dish authorized retailer now. 800-296-1251. 800-296-1251. That's 800-296-1251. Offers require credit qualification, 24-month commitment, early termination fee, and e-auto pay. Restrictions apply. Call for details. You're listening to Speed Freaks. Motorsports Radio Redefined. This segment brought to our good friends at Lucas Oil. A great website to check out. Go to lucasoil.com. That's lucasoil.com to find a line of products to keep your F-150, your Chevrolet, your 67 Chevrolet Camaro, or your 2024 Range Rover fat and happy. Go to lucasoil.com. Saw some numbers last week that came out of Las Vegas regarding Formula One. And if you believe these numbers, you notice I set it up like that, stat man. If you believe these numbers that came out about Formula One, and these are numbers that we're reading from, what is it called, Richard? The Independent? The Nevada. Yeah, yeah the Nevada Independent. I have no idea what the heck that is. but <laughs> yeah, It's a paper. I, yeah, okay. One of the last few to exist. Got it. That Formula One and the economic impact that it had on Las Vegas last November, as far as taxes go for the city, it outdid the Super Bowl. If you take the numbers that were prepared for the Super Bowl, the estimated taxes that the city was going to reap versus Formula One, the taxes 
outdid the Super Bowl of the Formula One race. I just stumbled but Hold on, that. hold on. I don't think that's a fair assessment because we have allegedly numbers from the Formula One race, which was November. The Super Bowl was just February. That was just a month ago, a month and a half ago. So we don't have final numbers there. But if you take past Super Bowl numbers like right. Richie did as we were off mic earlier, past Super Bowl numbers, economic impact and overall tax value has been way above these numbers that the Nevada Independent has put out from the F1 race in Las Vegas. The F1 race in Las Vegas, $884 million as an economic impact number. That's huge. It's just shy of $1 billion. And then the total tax benefit was apparently $77 million. But past Super Bowls, not in Las Vegas, were in the one billion range for sure, as far as economic not, impact. Not, not tax. Uh, but, Arizona was, and also in that seventy million tax benefit as well. Uh, okay. Arizona's Super Bowl was so Vegas <laughs> gambling and other things. It's going to be more. I think the reason this caught my eye so much, Stat Man, is there. If you read this article, and we'll tweet it out at Speed Freaks on on X. Well, do we say we exit out now? Tweet. Still Just say, say tweet, 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 darn it. Okay. Nobody calls it X. Okay. Nobody does. Don't make me call you a boomer. That's fine, Richie. You've called me <laughs> enough things already. Listen, man. man I have no, oh, if you read this article, it goes through the litany of complaints and issues that they had to get this freaking thing lit up, including a freaking drain cover on the front stretch of the damn Grand Prix. Uh, but just the, the 77 million in state and local taxes, the highest figure recorded for a single event in Las Vegas. It's what caught my eye. Believe it or or not, but don't believe it. It's still a, an astonishing figure. Tax revenue coming from one event, considering all the events that have come from Las Vegas, in particular NASCAR events. I don't know what NASCAR races collectively. I, I'm sure this outdoes the economic impact or the taxes that come in from two uh, cup races or two cup race weekends. It comes nowhere close to this. Eight hundred eighty-four right? million of economic impact. I I would highly doubt that. In right. Two cup races. Yeah. No. And the the biggest issue that you have to face is who benefits from having these numbers out there. Uh, like when you hear stories talking about uh, contracts in sports, who benefits from having those numbers out there? Uh, so, just a minute. Let me turn something down here. So you got to wonder about where these numbers come from and, and who benefits and why. Certainly Formula One, there's more people globally who are going to travel to Las Vegas and uh, watch a Formula One race than uh, would come to from around the United States, certainly around the world, but come from around the United States to go to a Super Bowl game. The main people that are going to a Super Bowl game are attached to the two teams. Uh, so it's different than people that want to come from uh, England or Paris or Argentina or wherever to come to Las Vegas to gamble for a few days and to watch a car race. So you know, all of this is predictable. I don't know that it's um, that big a deal. Uh, as far as the TV numbers are concerned, an average Formula One race has 450 to 400 and 60 million people worldwide that watch it. That's half again the, the number of people in the United States if everybody turned to the thing. So all these numbers are skewed a bit. And, uh, you know, who are you going to believe? A bunch of gamblers that run uh, underworld <laughs> stuff or uh, real numbers? We'll never see the real numbers. Uh, so uh, I don't know how valuable these numbers are. 315,000 fans is the was the uh, estimated, estimated crowd for the Las Vegas Grand Prix. Compare that to the Super Bowl, just the game alone you're thinking around 80,000 or so. Mm -hmm. So and if you even double that, Formula 1 still draw, draws double what a Super Bowl did. So well, maybe do that have, too. Excuse me, uh Richie, we do have some comparison. They had the same arguments when Formula One was in Indianapolis crash. Mm -hmm. Remember that? That whether or not the foot the uh, Super Bowl is gonna draw more than the Formula One race and who needs the Formula One race? So they kicked the Formula One race out of the city. So th this comes up all the time when you want to compare two major sporting events, Formula One and the Super Bowl. Uh, I just don't believe numbers. 
that come from people who stand to benefit and pop their collar about how great they are. And, uh, and the, we have the numbers to prove it. Whether these numbers are true or false, again, the, my point was the debacle that many predicted for this race and then these numbers to come out to maybe take some of the edge off of, reading directly from this independent article, says the county's report cited dozens of challenges faced by government agencies, public works, law enforcement, the water district, the fire department, and public transportation. It goes on to say the fire department highlighted more than a dozen issues in simultaneously trying to keep up with the construction of the plaza building and race course. The building department noted, noted a request to allow celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay to have a cooking area in an unused garage. However, no permit applications or schematic plans were submitted. So there you go. Damn Gordon Ramsay. Well, Gordon Ramsay what? got a job. Year two, you're not going to have as many construction issues going into the race. So, yes, things, the headaches should kind of calm down a little bit. And they have a new COO, Betsy Fretwell, I believe is her name. And she's been around in Las Vegas for a while <laughs> in city planning positions. So there's there's new a new vision coming into race in the year two. Listen, I, th and how much time do we have left in this segment? I'm just trying to be funny here. But if you go back and look when Obama started as the president and then eight years later, how, <laughs> how aged he looked. When you see two-term presidents, how they start out, and then eight years later. The gray they, hairs. Yeah. I saw a picture of Betty. This, Betsy. Betsy the COO, uh, several years ago before obtaining a few of these jobs, she looked about 10 or 15 younger, years younger than she does now. So you're saying she gets this new COO position for the Grand Prix in Las Vegas, and two months later she has too many grays? She's been <laughs> she's he's been in the public sector uh, for a long, a long damn time. time, and I can only imagine what that will do to uh, the mornings when you wake up and look yourself in the mirror and look around and go, who the hell just... <laughs> Just said it in my Got a new roommate. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said I had a doppelganger. The damn thing's standing right in front of me, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Look, any time that I could jump down Formula One's throat, I think you know that I can. But uh, these numbers were just 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 caught me off guard. And we we talk about how NASCAR is king when it comes to to racing in this country, but <laughs> nope. seeing these numbers from Las Vegas, you, you take them at half their word. Uh, it's still bananas what these cats could do. <laughs> Tickets are on sale now, Kenny. Oh. Grab them oh, while yes. you can. I've been getting texts yes. almost daily for, hey, did you check this out? And they're, they've, add, this. they've added that. more general admission tickets, and they're mm -hmm. allegedly cheaper, so get in now. Except Another thing to look at, the Las Vegas Review Journal, I think is the name of the credible newspaper in that town. Uh, and that's a credible newspaper with spectacular reporters. This report didn't come from them. Uh, so uh, there's, if it came from Forbes magazine or uh, one a major Wall Street Journal or something that had to, has a credibility, factor built in uh i just i just don't believe these numbers hmm. stat man's about about to be wading into the fake news here in a minute easy i saw about to come out of your mouth stat man stop it no just don't go there okay, if, I, if i couldn't remember it down for us how am i going to remember fake news <laughs> Freak Nation, we've been doing this for almost 24 years, and we thank you for being a part of this. The Freak Radio Network, thank you. Lucas Oil, Jen O'Tire, uh, Worldwide Technology Raceway, and many of our partners. Thank you guys for being a part of this big old thing and allowing us to do what we do with Crash, Suave, Statman, and yours truly on the Freak Radio Network and, of course, on MAV TV. Let's do it, Statman. Remember, to shoot the juice to the moose, and Statman. Cut it loose. Yeah. Motorsports Radio, redefined. You take car maintenance seriously, and you want to pass on that legacy of care. Use Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer to shield your engine from excessive heat, debris, and friction. Trust Lucas Oil. It works. Now that's a good looking tire from General Tire, the official tire of the ARCA Racing Series. You can't get that one on your hot rod, but you can get now through the end of April, four qualifying passenger tires and get up to 70 bucks back the Visa prepaid card. We can all use a little bit of cake in our wallet 
in our purse, in our pockets, right? Four qualifying passenger tires get up to 70 bucks back from General Tire. General Tire, over 20 years with the freaks, and of course, General Tire delivers. The NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. Let's go! For only $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. It all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year. The weekend racing is over, or is it? Not on MAP TV. Monday is All American Racing Night on the network which never leaves the track. Sit back and enjoy grassroots red, white, and blue racing from America's most iconic tracks. Whether it's the precise lines of pavement ovals or the door banging action of the dirt, MAP TV's Monday Night lineup will bring you all the action from this country's legendary four wheel battlegrounds. Monday Night is All American Racing only on MAP TV, Motorsports Network. Life can be full of risks. One thing you shouldn't take a risk with ever is your family's health insurance. If you're self-employed or you now need affordable health insurance, you need to make this free call right now and see how the health insurance helpline can help you get it. We specialize in helping the self-employed and people just like you that need affordable health insurance to get it. We have short and long-term health insurance plans and some even cover dental, vision, and prescription drugs. Don't take a risk with your family's health insurance, it's not worth it. If you're self-employed or now need affordable health insurance, call right now and learn for free how to get it. Listen, affordable health insurance plans for everyone just like you are a free phone call away. So give us a shout right now. 800-659-7540. 800-659-7540. 800-659-7540. That's 800-659-7540. At Lucas Oil, we take pride in creating problem-solving products to make your car care easier. We protect your vehicle and make it run longer so you can focus on the things that matter most. Lucas Oil, it works. You're listening to Speed Freaks, Motorsports Radio, redefined. 